I do. Sorry? You asked me if I wanted fresh tiles. I do, yeah. Oh, we do. Thanks. We can get a move on. All right. Oh, well, we weren't planning to. Not before the service. I can't find my cufflinks. <clears throat> Are these them? Didn't look very hard, did you? How do I look? Oh, Jane, you look beautiful. All eyes are going to be on you. Got my upstage the bride. Much. Well then, don't stand at the front. Oh, wowzer. You look amazing. The car's here. All right, good. You nervous? A little. Well, quite a lot, actually. I just don't want to let her down. You won't, Dad. For give me away. It's my pleasure, Ramona. Mm. Come on. Hey, congratulations, Ramona. Like your husband. Mm. Very dashing. Mm. He's a god. Well, well, why did you marry him then? Because hmm? she wants to be a countess. Oh. You know, girl, he's a god. I go that he's nice to me. And good looking. Good for you. I had to settle for nice to me. <laughs> Which is more than I got. Hey, <laughs> hey uh, Ramona, mm -hmm. who's the uh, woman in the orange? Aha. Uh -huh. Alejandro's niece, Isabella. I think she likes me. Well, you speak Spanish, but you have no English. No, we're speaking the universal language. Oh. Esperanto. Sexual attraction. Oh. Bon dias. Hola. Vinos comar. So, how are you finding university? Oh, I am loving it. I meant Adam. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's loving it too. My lecturer, oh, he's so inspiring. He's like that. Sorry. Robin Williams in Dead Poets Society. You're doing really well, aren't you, son? I'm doing all right. Yeah. So is Josh. Of course, I wouldn't expect anything else. Well, we did, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't go to one of them posh schools like Josh, did he? No. No, we definitely gave him the best start. Yes. That was your ex-wife on the phone? Robin is handling Nicky's divorce from George. Oh, he's got a bobber too. Not two anymore. My settlement's just come through. Oh! So that's two men I know who've suffered at her hands. Congratulations. Here's to your sudden wealth. How does it feel? Well, it's a relief, cos we've had to live on a budget the past few months. I still do. My circumstances haven't changed. You better raise your game if you want to keep up with that one. Alejandro will bring me here on our first date. So, uh, three months ago? 
Look, when you know is right, it's no matter. You know. Yeah. Why is it a shame you know being Gavin? Gareth. Oh. We split up months ago, Ramona. I sent you a long email. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've been busy. Mm. So? You find you someone new. Not interested. Mm. You don't want to grow old alone. Well, I'm doing all right so far, thanks. Oh, Carmen, you will find someone. Don't need to. And perhaps, hmm? He's here. Hmm? <laughs> you. Hey. So what do you think of Alejandro? I just hope he makes Ramona happy. Not see why he wouldn't. He's <laughs> charming, he's good looking, he's rich. Mm, not sure I trust him. Maybe that says more about you than him. Probably. Shouldn't you be talking to that Isabella? I thought you two were speaking the universal language. Something got lost in translation. Oh, you're from Valencia? No, I've never been there. I went to Madrid once to see United play. They got loads of Spanish players. Uh, De Gea, Mata, Herrera. They've even got one called Valencia. Well, he's from Ecuador. Es mi amigo. Disculpa. What? We didn't share the same interests, you know, football. Me. Oh. I'd like to say a couple of words. Josh, will you act as my interpreter? Me? Yeah, well, you're studying Spanish. Okay, can I have some attention, please? Silencio! <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Um, now, Ramona was for many years our children's nanny. Ramona S. Era. Ramona Era. Mi. Mi abuela. <laughs> <laughs> nana. Nana. Niñera. 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 And it was a great honor to be asked to stand in for her father. Dad, I can't do this. It's perfectly simple. No, I hate public speaking. Well, I'm doing that. You just have to translate. It was a great honor. Lo es. Soy yo. Oh, Dios mío. Lo que yo sí intento decir es que David se siente muy honrado de estar aquí hoy. I always remember when. Y aplauso, por favor, porque si no, nunca dejará de hablar. ¡Venga, David! I hadn't quite finished. They knew what you wanted to say. Señora, no se piense resistir. Right, there you go. Wow. Oh, what do you think, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oi! Where are you two going? Oh, we're going for a spin in Alejandro's car. Ramona's lent me the keys. Oh, nice. Can I come? Yeah, it's a two-seater. Anyway, I thought you were hitting on all the senoritas. Yeah, just a couple. Not much luck. I think it's my accent. Mm. Look, don't leave me on my own. Come on, I can squeeze in the back. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I could do. But then again, you and me, the open road, find ourselves a cosy little country lane. Just saying. <laughs> right. See you later, Navigator. Really? Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Simultaneous translation is really difficult. Here you go, Mum. Oh, thanks. thanks, darling. There's something I need to tell you. I'm worried you're going to take it badly. Oh, God. Well, come on, then. You've never shot me before. What have you got? I've dropped out of uni. 
Well, it happens. Oh, Mum. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world, sweetheart. You know, when we leave here, you just come home with me and the girls. And what about Dad? Probably best we don't say anything to him yet. Not till we know what you're going to do. Now, look, are we going to sit here and mope, or am I going to put you to shame on the dance floor? Come on. Yeah, they give us a hell of a start. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah, but can't even get drunk. No free hands. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think life might be passing you by? Hey, no. <laughs> Slow downs, come on, come on, come on then. Oh, we can't leave him on his own again. No, look at him, he's got his hands full with all his new friends. Very good. You said you wanted to be a hit with the senoritas. Well, look at you now. That wasn't an invitation to join me. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Well, what do you do that for? Oh, no, it's, um, plant food for hair, you know, it gives it extra body. Does it get rid of the grey as well? Okay. What do you want? Wax. Oh, so what, you can use product, but I can't. Mm-hmm. Here's your date. Need to know basis. Dad, can I have 20 quid? All in advance in your inheritance. Ta. Don't leave it on too long. You don't want to give it too much body. Oh, shite. Oh. Stay with me, Barbara. The ambulance is on its way. Keep it down, will you? Trying to finish an assignment. By rights, I should be singing, but you objected to that too. Well, you were flat. Why are you doing it anyway? He has to practice. He might have to do it one day. Well, shouldn't it be second nature by now? Well, yeah, but I've never done it for real. And I'm worried that when I have to, I'll just freeze. Oh, I know what you mean. It's like whenever I'm on a plane, the emergency drill, I never take it in. When were you last on a plane? Well, you can never get too much practice, Barb. Yeah. Oh. Do it in the other room, will you? Grumpy, eh? Why? Oh, all right. Are you going to give me mouth to mouth as well? Oh. Have you got your dentures in? Oh, you better <laughs> hope so. Hey, it's my favourite customer. <laughs> Very good. Adam, isn't it? Yeah. Never forget a handsome face. Oh, I'm the same. Gemma. Gemma. The usual? Uh, to have here, yeah. I'll bring it over. Thanks. Expecting you. I, I hoped you might be free for coffee. No, I'm not. Oh well, this won't take long. You want to take money out of the company? Uh, as a dividend, yes. No, I'm not sure now's the right time, David. I've just given a sizable advance to a first-time author from Hull. Oh, did you have to? I mean, Hull? Are you short of money, David? No, no, no. I mean, I have overheads, obviously, you know, like you do. Girls' school fees, university tuition for Josh. Mm, I, I might need to talk to you about that. Mum? Josh? Ah. Dad, I thought you'd be at university. Josh is just spending a few days at home to consider his future. Oh, you don't graduate for another year. 
what's to consider? Well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to graduate. Of course you are. Nowadays, you're going to turn up the exams to give you a 2-1. No. I've dropped out. He hasn't dropped out formally. He's just stopped going. Why? I'm not happy, Dad. Happy? Who cares about happy? You go to university to get a degree. I'm no good at Spanish. You saw that for yourself. And I hate business studies. I only did it to please you. No, so dropping out's going to make me proud. David, he hasn't dropped out. Pete's Adam's doing very well. Straight A's. And he went to a comprehensive. So how many lectures have you missed? Three. Oh. Months. Months? Josh, you told me a few weeks. That is a few weeks. Yeah. So all this time, I've been paying. And you haven't even been there? So I knew it would be about the money. David, money's not the most important thing. It's important to me. I'll, I'll pay you back. How? Without an education. <sighs> See, I told you there was no point in talking to him. Josh! Josh, don't walk away David, from me! David, let me handle this! I want you back at university by the weekend! Sort this out, Karen. She's all right. What? Well, we all do it. Online dating? I'm sure you don't need to. Why, thank you. I could say the same. Come oh, on, no, at my age, it's, it's hard to meet new people. You can't be more than what? 42? Close enough. You must get lots of matches. Mm. I've seen what's out there. Oh, she gives her one hand, takes with the other. I'm serious. If I was in the market for a 42-year-old with come-to-bed eyes, I'd swipe right. Well, you know, if, um, you are, you know where to find me. Don't let your coffee go cold. OK. I was a disappointment to my father. You don't talk about him much. I hated the man. God, he would be spinning in his grave if he could see me now. Thank you, David. I don't mean you, darling. I mean, living beyond my means and earning on commission. There's no shame to working in insurance. That's what I tell people I do. We both know it's basically a call centre. Yeah, true, if they hadn't been driving a Maserati, the repair bill wouldn't have been so high. But then, if you hadn't driven into them, there wouldn't be a repair bill at all. Yeah. And a very good afternoon to you, Matt. Another satisfied customer? It's difficult to tell. She put the phone down on me. Well, is Donna all right? <laughs> well, she's pregnant on her own, so... Val, who's answering your phone? <laughs> I'm telling people their bonuses. Ah. Well, that explains the air of incipient despondency. Incipient despondency? <laughs> you cracked me up, David! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, bonus. What am I getting? Nothing. I want to tell you in person. Now, crack on. If you hate it so much, find something else. How? Oh, we're barely allowed a toilet break. Can't see them giving me time off to attend an interview. Well, then quit. I can't afford to. What? No, but I can. I can give you money till you're back on your feet. Live off charity. God, Dad would love that. I thought he was dead. He is. Technically. How do I look? Older. Unlike you. Is that my jacket? Oh. Do you mind? No, God, I'm delighted that you think I'm stylish. Well, you work for a fashion website. You'd hope something rubbed off. In IT. I don't tell people that bit. I'll see you later. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? You said you were in tonight. Yeah, plans have changed. Oh, I thought we'd watch Netflix and chill. You can do that on your own. That's well, not as much fun, though, eh? Ugh, see ya. Oh, I... Yeah. Her new girlfriend. When am I going to meet her? Here, invite her over for dinner. Dad... Am I that embarrassing? OK, sure. I've got to go. All right, have fun. Do you think these boys look bigger? Bigger than what? Than they used to. 
Hmm. Maybe a little lower. I think it's a menopause thing. What, bigger boobs? Why don't you Google it? Go on, there on the search history. It's already on mine. I'm sure it is. And why would you think that anyway? You what? Sign of the menopause. Don't know. Could be. Started feeling really hot when I'm in bed. No, that's just this duvet. Too many togs. Plus, my period's late. Well, I did wonder, but I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. That's the first. Maybe you're pregnant. <laughs> Don't be daft. No. Wait, wait, Jen. Jen, yes, that's it. Your period's late, you're never late. We can set the calendar by you. Pete, I'm 50. No, it can happen to women at your age. It's not inconceivable. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm not pregnant. Oh, we had great sex at Ramona's wedding, unprotected. It'll be the menopause. You, your boobs swelled up when you were pregnant with Chloe. To be fair, all of them swelled up. Look, trust me, you are up to duff. I know these things. When you were expecting Adam, I knew before you did, didn't I? Yeah, that's true. Mm. Go to sleep. See, I'm not surprised. Since we renewed our wedding vows, we've been getting on so well. Mm. Oh, this is the cherry on the icing on the cake. Yes. It's good to get out. Yeah, well, you're a free agent. You've got no excuse. Yeah. Well, I've got some news. What's happened to your hair? Oh, I left the day on too long. It's fault. Probably best not to say anything. Is it noticeable? No, no, no. Well, at least not till it's confirmed. Are you listening to me? Well, it must be, otherwise you wouldn't have said anything. Jenny's pregnant. Right, you got her attention. What's your news? No, well, that's it. Jenny's pregnant. Oh, bollocks. She's too old, surely. Well, she's not been through the change. Yeah, but you don't look at her and think, feckend. Well, if that means what I think it means, I'll have you know I find her very feckend. Are you sure? Well, you know, sometimes, once a month. No, that she's pregnant. Well, not 100%, but all the signs are there. What, like a positive pregnancy test? Hmm. I don't need to do a test. I mean, you know your own body, don't you? Yeah, you do. Mind you, I did think if it had shut Pete up, and I happened to be in the chemist anyway, I've got to admit, I felt slightly embarrassed. Shopping for a pregnancy test at 50 feels a little bit like buying your condoms when you're 15. Did you? 15? Yeah, that too. Peter's was too shy. Bless. Anyhow, I found one, but then I saw this mum of one of Chloe's friends. I panicked. It's not long, but she might think I'm pregnant. She might think Chloe is. Well, suppose you are. Oh, God, I'm not. Would you go through with it? <sighs> Would you? God, no. No. Value my sleep too much. Mm. I'd have to give up work, wouldn't have the time. Or the mental capacity, frankly. I'd have to give up my course. I mean, I couldn't do that. But I mean, an abortion. I mean, I couldn't do that either. Well, hopefully it's the menopause. Yay! Yay! Oh, rubbish. Yeah. Look, we'll know soon enough. I've got an appointment at the clinic. Put Pete out of his misery. He is carrying on like an expectant dad. I've made him promise that he will not tell the lads. I don't know what it happened to. It was the night of Ramona's wedding. Well, how can you be so sure? Oh, yeah, just once a month. Well, I thought you were disturbed by the police. Well, we were. But if anything, the shock gave me a little bit more thrust. Come to think of it, that is what probably caused it. Shut up. Mrs Gifford, what can I do for you? Settle about. My husband's got a fiver on me being pregnant. Right. Well, let's take a look at you. Smart one, it says. It's the change. I need a girlfriend. Getting sick of my own company. Problem is, they get sick of it too. Ramona's wedding. 
I was a bad man. I began to think I might be losing my touch. What makes you think you're not? I have an admirer. She's very attractive. She's a barista at this cafe I go to. They live for tips. No, no, no. She's made it clear that she likes me. Add swipe right. That means nothing. Baristas often draw a love heart. Not with a Cupid's arrow through it. Not with a Cupid's arrow through it. <sighs> well, I'm relieved I'm not pregnant, but I'm not sure why I'm still touching my babes. You can get dressed now. Because you mentioned one was feeling larger. Oh, yeah. Is that a menopause thing, then? Not usually. What was it, then? Professional curiosity. It can be a symptom of something else. Well, I, I've borne a couple of pounds, to be honest. I felt a lump. I'd like to refer you to the hospital for tests. Is it cancer? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It might be nothing. Yeah, but it, it might be cancer. So this barista that's got the hops for you, how old is she? She's 27. Oh. I checked her dating profile. That's way too young, even by your standards. The gap's 15 years. Doesn't seem to bother her. 15? 15? Yeah. She thinks I'm 42. Yeah, but you're not. You're clearly deluded, mate. You're losing your mind as well as your looks. Someone's in the canal. Must be bloody freezing. What the hell? Hey, 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 Bloody hell, you nearly brained him! Oh, what are we gonna do? We've gotta do something. Oh, one of us has gotta get in. What? 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 It's my best suit. What? 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 Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, go on. Grab that! He's coming, he's coming! Look at that. Come on. Go on, there you go, there you go, Sonny! Go he's coming, he's coming! That's it, Pete! Uh, ambulance, please. That's it, Pete, come on! That's it, that's it. Come on. Uh, Castlefield, uh, Castlefield, but near the white, white, bendy, wobbly bridge. Let's just head out, let's just head out. That's it. Keep going, keep going. I think it's going to get people experts needed. Now, please, now. Almost there. Come on. Give me a hand, give me a hand. That's it. My two friends are looking after him. No, both totally inadequate. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. What? Huh? He's unconscious. What? Can you do yeah. CPR? Well, I, I've done a bit in the care home. Come on, come on, he's turning him blue. Oh, God, I, I need the song. What? Give me a song by the Bee Gees. What? Give me a song by the Bee Gees. Oh, no, 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 uh, uh, how deep is your love? No, not by the one. A uh, night fever. No, not by uh, uh, Stay alive. That's it, that's it. Sing it. Why? I need the rhythm. Okay. Uh, uh, well, you can tell by the way uh, I use uh, my wife. No, 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 Stay alive. The ambulance is on its way. Stay alive. Come on. Stay alive. Ha 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 ha. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ha 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 ha. Stay alive. Just jumped in. He's a hero, Mum. He deserves a medal. 
You should be proud of him. You could have died. You don't risk your life when you've got two kids. We're going to eat soon. In a minute. Possibly three. I've done a test. There is no baby. Watch with you tonight. Oh, I don't know. Um, go to the bar, meet your friends. I think I'd rather stay in. Netflix and chill. Well, that sounds tempting. Now I know what it means. <laughs> Hello. Um, hey, I'm thinking of inviting someone to dinner, this woman that I'm going to be going out with. You're going to be going out with? Yeah, I, but she wants to, I just have to ask her. I mean, I thought you might like to invite your girlfriend. A double date? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, you have to eat, and I'd like to meet her. What about Thursday, eh? Mm -mm. Well, you can have my jacket. Have it. Borrow it. Have it. Have it Thursday, OK? Yes. He's still here. Oh, there's no point in going back, is there? Josh needs to toughen up, knuckle down and finish his degree. Why? There are plenty of successful people that never finished university. Richard Branson, Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates... So many you can name them. Mark Zuckerberg, Lady Gaga, Steve Jobs... Lady Gaga? Look, we are not going to force Josh to do something that he hates. Do you recall the Marsden family motto? Jesus Christ, David, no, I do not. But I imagine it's some bollocks in Latin about duty and honour and not shagging below stairs. Numquam ignavit vincit. The coward never conquers. Josh is a Marsden. We don't quit. Sticking at something that you hate makes you a loser. We don't demand enough of Josh. You never have. No, 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 no. He's not right. Ramona? I know. I bring Joshy up. Well, actually, Ramona, I did play a small part. What's she doing here? I remember Joshy. He just started crawling, and you made me teach him toilet. You did always hold him to an impossible standard. No more than my father did to me. Then where's that got you, Dad? That you might be content trying to fill your father's shoes, but I'm not. I don't want to follow in your footsteps. I want to live my own life. Isn't that what we should all strive to do? How's the love life? Any joy? I haven't tried. You should. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Yeah, on that, um, I've just bought a new coffee machine. Yeah, my mate George recommended it. Well, he's more of a brother, really. Clooney. Yeah. Uh, anyway, if you uh, fancy trying a cup on uh, Thursday, say, with dinner before, this is my address. You're inviting me around for dinner? Well, we could go out if you prefer. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. What, you don't drink coffee? No. I mean, yes, but no. No offence. No, uh, long tech. And, uh... I'm seeing someone at the moment. <laughs> oh, so it's timing? Yeah. Uh, OK, well, look, if anything changes before Thursday. Adam, wait. Yes? You haven't paid. No, sorry, um... isn't it? Well, I mean, you look a lot better than you did last time I saw you. And drier, too. <laughs> well, uh, I brought you a few things that I thought you wouldn't have. A uh, toothbrush, uh, toothpaste kind of thing. Oh, a bit of chocolate. 
Sorry, I'm Pete. I'm the bloke that pulled you out of the canal and gave you CPR. Yeah, I know who you are. You don't have to thank me. I wasn't going to. How'd you fall in? I didn't. You were pushed. Jeez. You jumped. I was hoping I'd drown. And I might have if some twat hadn't decided to act the hero. Look, mate, come Just on. piss off. Leave me alone. Go on. Just go. Yesterday I was on top of the world. I just saved a life. I thought we created another. It doesn't take much to bring you down, does it? But it could be worse, Pete. How so? Well, we might not have two adorable kids for a start. I've got this. <laughs> Oi! Not again. What have I told you to? Well, this is lovely. Are we still celebrating my settlement? Well, a lot of people have been giving me advice. It's you, Karen, Josh, Ramona. And today, I acted on it. At work? Mm. I led a staff rebellion. I was something of a hero. I've asked around, Darren, and it turns out that no one received a bonus. Not true, David. OK. Hands up if you got one. Individually, none of you did enough to get a bonus. But collectively, you did just enough to get me mine. That's not fair. David's right. Without our efforts, you'd get nothing. My whole career, I've stood by and watched while the few at the top took advantage of those who do all the work. Well, no more. Well, that's obvious from which side of the table you're sitting. No. I mean, no more will I put up with it. I still have my self-respect. So, I'm resigning. And I advise you all to do the same. So... Who's with me? No longer, Darren, will we be broken on the capitalist wheel. Freedom is ours. <laughs> God! David, you were magnificent. Well, you know, someone has to make a stand. So, what do we do now? Right. What do you mean? Well, what's the plan? Well, I thought I might take a little time to consider my next move. Well, I can see that, you know, if you've got outstanding student loans and, and a mortgage and... If you've got a baby on the way, then it might be a luxury you can ill afford. You were a hero? Hmm. Briefly. And then a pariah. So, uh, that's that. Does the offer of a loan still stand? No. It wasn't a loan. I don't need you to pay me back. Then I think we are still celebrating. A bottle of the merit, please. Matt, the girlfriend's here. Matt!
Gemma. Adam. Wasn't expecting to see you. No. No, it's great, great, not a problem. I've got enough for four. Come in. Come on. God, I'm so delighted you decided to come. Oh, Matt, uh, this is Gemma. Remember, I mentioned her to you. What? So, did you dump the guy that you were seeing? No. How's that going to work? Uh, Dad. Jim is my girlfriend. What? You were hitting on my girlfriend? No, no, yes. I mean, well, I didn't know she was your girlfriend. She was hitting on me. No, I wasn't. Oh, really? Come to bad eyes? Yeah, you have nice eyes. So does he. It's genetic. You said you'd swipe right. If old was my thing. Old? Old? Do you want to talk about age? He's 17. You told me you were 22. Oh, my God, Matt, you're barely legal. Gemma. Dad. Gemma. Gemma, wait. Please. Stay here. We can talk about this. 17. I'm proud of you, Dad. Well, for quitting my job. Yeah, it must have been hard for you. Yeah. The thought of how much it would have upset my father made it slightly easier. I don't want you to feel you have to live in my shoes. I find them uncomfortable enough as it is. And you're right, Josh. You have to live your own life. And I trust you to make the right decisions. Really? Because Ramona's going back to Barcelona and I'm going with her. Karen? You plans on getting a job, David? Two, in fact. Yeah, working in a bar and teaching English. He learned to speak Spanish proper. Properly. Look, he'll be fluent within a year. That's quicker than if he was at uni. And, and in time, I, uh, I want to start my own language school. Oh. An entrepreneur? Spain's where I was happiest, Dad. Then I think that sounds like a very good idea. She dumped me. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry. I really liked her. I know. What is wrong with you? It was bad enough at Ramona's wedding, running after women half your age, but this... I didn't know she was your girlfriend. The fact that she could be is what makes it wrong. The fact she was, that makes it worse. You embarrass me, Dad. You're just sad. And totally pathetic. I don't know, Karen. Maybe mad as a point, perhaps I am beginning to look ridiculous. Your hair was. But you never said. You're only friend. That's what friends are for, to tell you uncomfortable truths. You look ridiculous. It's all right you said that. Is that her? Uh-huh. You idiots. Hiya. Hey. Sorry. It's a bit of a misunderstanding. Forgotten. One thing, you know, the love heart I get, but the Cupid's arrow. No, I just haven't got hang of the nozzle yet. Ah. Hey, it's my favourite customer. Hey there, can I use your please? Yeah, of course you can. Can I ask that? I don't want to grow old. Why not? Because I'm not ready to. Well, you don't have much choice. Uncomfortable truth? Hmm? You're going to die. What? You're scared of death. Oh, shut up. No, it's true. Ask yourself, why do you always date younger women? Because I can. 
Well, they could. No, you're hoping that somehow their youth's going to rub off on you and you'll live longer. It doesn't work like that, Adam. Face it, you're 50. 50? Look, you have a limited amount of time left. Do you want to waste it chasing immortality? Because you will fail and you are going to end up dying lonely and alone. Alternatively, you can embrace your age. Throw yourself at your future with someone who's lived, who wants to live. Someone you can grow old with. Well, how am I going to find her? I don't know. But that's your quest. And the new series of Cold Feet continues Monday nights at 9 here on ITV. And if it's drama you're after, Wednesday night at 9, our new Sheridan Smith drama Cleaning Up continues. And you can catch episode one right now on ITV Hub. Next, though, the news at 10. To tell you, and you may not know till you pass on the street. Your head's turn, your eyes locking